If you've ever taken a class on neurobiology or learn about action potentials, you know that the depolarization and repolarization steps of the action potential are driven by the opening of voltage-gated sodium and potassium channels. And if you're like me, you probably wondered at some point, how do those channels actually know when their voltage reaches the threshold? Here's a rough drawing of a voltage-gated sodium channel embedded in the membrane of an axon. As the depolarization wave reaches this point, the membrane potential will become slightly more positive. There is more positive charge on the inside of the membrane carried by sodium ions. Zooming in on the voltage-gated sodium channel, we see that it has this little arm composed of arginine residues, which, if you remember the amino acids, are positively charged. Positive charges repel each other, so when we get an accumulation of sodium ions on the inside of the membrane, they repel the arginines, pushing this lever up and forcing the channel open, propagating the depolarization. 